Randy Reindeer, and we live in a world where everybody feels that they have to, you know, complain about something and be angry about something. Well, you know what really bothers me? And that's the state of products that we have to buy. Everything is junk nowadays. It's all make it as cheap as possible and sell it for the highest price you can. And if you don't like it, what are you going to do? And there's no better example than magic tricks. Magic tricks are just garbage. This is a leftover kid's trick from an auction. It was abandoned. It, no one even wanted to pay a dollar for this thing. And so I get stuck with it. And you know, just as much as I hate that, trying to polish a turd, it is nice when I am actually able to do it. And just like everything else in this world that we're forced to buy, because that's all there is, this thing is a piece of crap. So let me take you into the adventure, starting off with me being a little teed off about the whole thing. And you can see the process and how it went. One of these on eBay right now cost $140. And this is what you're going to get. This is nice, listen. Oh. oh, so subtle. So I'm going to try to polish a turd here. Let's see if it's possible. Screw doesn't even work. Yeah, this one doesn't even have a pin in it. This has never been used, by the way. This was purchased. It was a piece of crap. It went into somebody's closet. What a freaking piece of garbage. Yeah. What a joke. This construction is the only thing that's halfway decent, and it's the thing I'd like to get inside of to fix this, to fix that stupid thing. You're supposed to do that subtly. The kids aren't supposed to know you do that. That. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a... There's this one. Just, you know, it gets it, stuck in there. It's like, oh, what a piece of garbage. Don't bother sanding anything in there. Heaven forbid to do that. There's freaking glue all over everything. Now I'm just going to paint it brown.
and I'll just take some of this brown add white let's see what that gives me go even wider well, I don't want to just change the shade of it I want to change the hue as well so I'm going to throw in a little yellow powder here if I just had some yellow paint I'd do that but I don't have any and I'm not going to go get any not when I have the stuff they make paint out of Okay, so now I'm going to use a wood graining tool to put wood grain on here. Now, there's different ways you can do this. You can put the paint here and smear it. You can put the paint here and just smear it this way. But it's all going to depend on your surface, your paint, etc., etc. So, to me, every time I do it, you just have to figure it out. Which way works the best. I'm going to start... We're just saying if you paint this, like this, jeez, flip it over. I like the kind you can flip over. We'll do it again. Since it's a kid's trick, I'm going to make it more uh, cartoonish, let's say. A little exaggerated.
I'm going to do a black wash. So I really didn't know what to do with these doors. I've thought of all kinds of stuff, either more wood looking, uh, even bamboo, like a hut door, even leaves like it's foliage or rock or something, but I didn't like any of those. It needed color. I just kind of put these in between where the screws were. So I think I'm gonna just do the same thing here. And I'm gonna let these actually set here. So the edge is really right here. For this down in here, I mean, the only thing I can do is grease it. My only option will start a little some there. Oh, that helps too. That wire needs to be bent over, pushed more forward. Oh, yeah.
these doors aren't going to stay closed. That's just all there is to it. I'm going to put some magnets. My friend from Greece drew me out a better rabbit that fits perfectly for these things. And I've been cutting some of them out so that they can be glued in to these here. It's been coated with the same lacquer. And so now I can just use spray adhesive. Now I've sprayed both sides, let it dry a little bit. Now it's going to be like a contact cement, and I've got one shot at this. These are rabbit homes. You can see there's a front door, there's a back door, and you can see no one's home right now. That's because the one that lives over here, he's hiding in my back pocket. There he is. It's Reginald. Now their homes have back doors, have front doors, and there's also a little secret hole that they drop into from the top. You can see. There he is right there. Now, the funny thing is, is when you knock on the door like that, that scares him and he just runs away. And you don't know where he went to, but look, he's gone. Reginald is gone. And you don't know where, you saw him run over here? No, 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 it's no. You can see, I showed you earlier that this one's empty. You can see there's no rabbit. There is a rabbit there. You saw the rabbit. No, no, no. There can't be a rabbit there. Look, if I open the door, look. See, there's no one home on this side. You, you saw him come over here. Now, you just said he came, he was over here, and I showed you that there's no rabbit there. Now you're saying it's over. Look, if I open this up, and look, you can see. Look, there's no rabbit there. I don't know. See, there's completely, it's over here. Well, you said he was here. Now you're saying he's over here. Oh, I think I know what the thing is. I know what it is. You see, you're seeing a different rabbit. We're looking for Reginald. Now, you're probably thinking about his brother, Stan. That's Stan right there. And then there's Fred. He's Fred. Oh, there's Fred. Fred's over here. His brother, Winston, he's over here. And then James, I don't know, James is the tricky one. He's, I don't know where he is right now. But we're looking for Reginald. Reginald, he's the secret sneaky one. And he goes right back into my pocket. Right there. So I literally polished a turd. And a lot of people actually want this. And it's probably gone by the time I make this video. As I'm videoing it now. But if it's not, there's be a link and whatnot. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to see more crazy stuff like this, hit the subscribe button. I want to thank these people. These are patrons. These are people who bring you the stuff that I do. And I put out a video every week and I couldn't do it without them. They're the ones that keep me going. And if you'd like to help me keep me going and get some perks from it and whatnot, go check out the patron. Anyway, Thanks for watching for this Run Rabbit Run. Now, I almost made an adult version of this thing because there has been adult versions made. Different ideas. One of the ideas was that you realize, wait a minute, this isn't a Run Rabbit Run. It's a Run Rabbi Run. And there's like little, you know, little Jewish rabbis running back here. But that would only be funny to other magicians. 
you'd have to know the name of the trick before it'd be funny. So decided not to do that. I don't know. I just decided to actually turn it into something that a performer for kids could actually use. I think that's the best route.